वेलकम बैक टू द यूट्यूब चैनल प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज इन टूडेज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल ट्यूटोरियल्स वीडियो वी वुड बी सींग दैट हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट एंड कस्टमाइज द पाई चार्ट एंड द कॉम्बो चार्ट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल नाउ द पाई चार्ट आर यूज वाइडली इन प्रेजेंटेशन वेर यू वॉन्ट टू प्रेजेंट द डेटा सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ पाई चार्ट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल आउट ऑफ द गिव इन डेटा and when you have created a pie chart how you can focus on a particular data that you want to show to your viewers or to your clients then we are going to work on the combo charts now as the name suggests the combo charts are a combination of one or more charts uh, so you can combine uh, more than one type of chart into a single chart and that would be known as the combo chart and that is used to show a combination of data uh so that's what we are going to see in this video so let us start first of all with creating a pie chart and learning about the pie charts so here we have uh, our data from the previous video itself which is the year and the sales that we have done over these years so out of this data since this is the kind of data that could be used for presentation we want to create a pie chart so how can we create it you got to select this whole data and press control q as the shortcut then go to this charts and you can create a pie chart by selecting on this pie now this is the default type of the pie that would be shown in front of you if you want to customize it you can customize it as per your choice to anything that you like okay like this you can just customize it so this is the type that i'm going to go with now what if you want to show that maximum amount of the sales done so i don't want to show these ligands so i'm just going to go with something without these ligands or if you want you can just delete them like this okay just select any one of them and press the delete key to just delete it so as you can see uh, in the year 2017 this is the gray area that has the most um, amount so this i want to focus on so how can you do that during the presentation is uh, you got to select on this gray area you can just double click over it and then you will get this format data point option now using this format data point if you want to focus on it you can just change its angle simply like this now i have brought it to the left side and you can just explode it slightly you can just increase the explosion like this so it would be uh, away from the rest of the data to show that how much uh, this data is over here and if you just hover over it then you can see that in the sales series the point is 2017 and the exact value is $39000 which is the data from the table and its percentage so that's how you can explode a pie chart for a better understanding during a presentation if you don't want that you can simply change its explosion to 0 and if you want all of them to be occurred uh, to be shown like this like all of them to be exploded then you can just single click on any one of the slice and all of these slices would be selected you can just change their angle to anything that you want like i want this angle and if you want you can just increase the spy explosion when you increase the spy explosion you can see that all of them are exploded like this okay now what if you don't want to show something uh, of this data like for the year 2020 uh, this is the least amount of the sales done and i don't want to show this data so you got to just double click over here go to this uh, paint bucket kind of a icon which is the fill icon and select no fill when you do that you can see that the 2020 data is not visible but it is exactly actually present over there um, but it is not visible so that's how you can hide some kind of a data while it's still available in the table so that is important while giving out presentations regarding pie charts and that's all about the pie charts and as you know you can just customize its um, area to anything to its appearance to anything that you want using all these options that's already you know so that's about pie chart and let's move on to the combo charts now what is a combo chart a combo chart as the name suggests is a combination of more than one chart type and why do we need combo charts the reason is uh, present in this table 
in this table we have the same uh, year and the sales data but we have another column in front of us that is this purchase column so along with the year uh, every year we have a sales data and how much purchasing we have done in that particular year okay so this is what we have in our uh, table and out of this we want to create a chart so how can we create it uh, for that what you got to do is just select this whole data go to the insert tab and uh, here you can just go to recommended charts you can click on recommended charts that will give you an option of the recommended charts that what kind of charts uh, are recommended by microsoft excel out of this data if you want you can just select these recommended charts as well but if you want to create a combo chart then how can you go with it you can go to this all charts option and in this all charts option uh, the very last option is the combo chart you can go to this combo chart when you go to this combo chart then you can see this is a combo chart which is the clustered column and the line combo chart in the clustered column we have the sales amount and uh, in the line we have a purchase amount line but the year is also present in the clustered column which we can just change as we already know the procedure so i'm just going to go with it but if you want there are other type of the combo charts available as well like this uh for the secondary axis as well there is a secondary axis available for this purchase column or if you want there is this stacked area for sales and a clustered column for purchase or if you want you can just customize it as per your wish but i'm going to go with this clustered column line on secondary axis okay so you can just click on okay and uh, you can just customize it yes this is what i like no yes this is the one i like now you want to customize its data so how can you do that just go to the select data option uncheck this year from here and on the horizontal category go to edit and select all this years option and click on okay then you can see that your charts have been customized then you can again click on okay now uh, the problem with the secondary axis you can see is this secondary axis ranges from zero dollars to seven thousand dollars and it totally does not matches with this primary axis which means if you try to read data with the help of the primary axis then it is like what thirty thousand dollars of sales and even more than that of the purchase but actually the purchase value is just five thousand dollars so it is not very good in the visibility so you can just delete the secondary axis and when you do that it is customized as per the primary axis for better viewing purposes but if you have the uh, opportunity to explain your chart then you can go with the secondary axis as well cause uh, that would be of more clarity but if you do not have an opportunity to explain and only the visual opportunity so then you got to go with this um, primary axis only without the secondary axis now if you want to customize this chart title you can just customize it like uh, sales versus purchase that's what i'm going to go with sales b purchase yes okay now if you want to uh, just customize this line uh, you want to customize say its color you are not happy with this color you want to customize it so how can you do that just click on it go to this format data series option in this you will find this fill and line option you can just customize its color to anything that you like i'm going with this blue color so that it is visible then if you want you can also customize these marker options now what are these marker options these this kind of a cluster you can see are these marker options so this i'm going with a darker blue color for them and um, again that's all these things that you can do with this so this is uh how you can create a combo chart now what if you want to add something to this combo chart how can you add it uh, you can this click on this chart and there is this plus option which is used to add some of the chart elements now i want to add something like if you want you can just add these access titles it would be if you just hover over it it would show you a preview okay you can just create access titles you can add data labels i want to add data labels yes i want to add data labels and um, where you want 
to the center, to the inside end, to the inside base. All these bunch of options are available. If you want, you can also add as a data callout, but that looks horrible. So I'm just going to go with this uh, inside end option. That looks good. If you want, you can also add the data table. But one important thing is this trend line option. If you just uh, click over here, then there is an option of linear forecast that will help you to forecast the pattern based upon the current data trends. So if you just click on it, it would ask you that what uh, is the base basis on which you want to add a trend line. So I want to add a trend line on the basis of sales. You can click on OK. And when you click away, you can see that there is this linear sales trend line, which shows that your sales are going down. And that is the trend line that has been added automatically by Microsoft Excel for the sales data. OK, so that's how you can add trend lines. If you want, you can also add trend line for this purchase data as well. You can see that this purchase data trend line is also added, which is shown over here. This is the gray line shown. So that is used to predict the pattern. If you want uh, to predict a pattern for your sales, if you want to predict a pattern for your purchase, then this trend line option is very important. And that's how you can add it in this combo chart. Or if you want, you can add it in any chart. If there is any kind of a simple chart also, you can add it very easily. So that's how you can customize or work with the combo charts and the pie charts in Microsoft Excel. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.